Hello there, my name is Tracy Elsom and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator based in Canada and welcome to my Paper Craft With Me YouTube channel. Today I have a very quick solution for you and it's how I now use this punch which is the Label Me Fancy punch from Stampin' Up! to put a hole or a ribbon slot in the top of my bookmarks and my tags. You can see there's one shape there, there's a line which is the ribbon slot and there's a little hole there. So I have a two inch by two inch bookmark here that I've created using this stamp set called Elephant Parade. Really cute. Um, so that's what I've done there. I'm going to start just by on the back of this I'm going to mark the halfway point, the one inch, with a pencil. And let's just extend that a little bit just in case. So there's my mark. That tells me where I want the hole to be. I want it to be in the centre. Now if you turn the punch over you can see the big label, the slot and the little punch hole there. Now if I close the punch you can see that the big section actually cuts first followed by this one and finally you'll see the small hole. If you can see that. So you've got the large one cuts through first, then the slot, then the hole. I'm going to use that to help me. So I'll slide my card, piece of card in. If I go too far, obviously it's going to cut a shape at the top. So I'm going to slide it in so that I can see my little line in the hole. And then I'm going to close this up, not completely, but just enough so now the card is catching, banging up against that label. So making sure that the line is in the middle, if you can see that. Not the best way to do it, I can punch. So now I have the hole in there, the top is still straight. All I need to do now is grab an eraser and just take out that pencil line. And now my bookmark is ready. I can grab some twine and thread it through. So I hope that's been useful. The same trick will work with the slot. Um, it's just a little bit closer. You'll just have to, it's just catching on the edges there. But you can use that same trick to help you to get the hole or the slot lined up without chopping off the top of your card. I hope that's been useful. If you want more tips and tricks and inspiration like this bookmark, which is on my blog today, just go to my website and blog at www.papercraftwithme.com and there's a new project on there every single day. In the meantime, have a great day and I'll speak to you again soon. Bye.